Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to study about tapetum in detail. In the anther wall, there are four layers. The outer, outermost layer is epidermis. Next, endothesium. Third one, middle layers, and fourth one, tapetum. Tapetum is the innermost wall layer of the anther. Tapetum is a very important layer of the anther and it nourishes the developing microspores, microspore mother cells, etc. <clears throat> the maximum development of tapetum can be seen during the microsporogenesis. <clears throat> during the development of microspores, during the development of pollen grains, the Maximum development of tapetum seen very clearly. <clears throat> tapetum is formed partly from peripheral wall layer and partly from the connective tissue lining the anther lacure, anther cavity. So tapetum is dual in origin. Why tapetum is called? Dual in, dual in origin because that is originated, tapetum is originated from two layers. One is from the peripheral wall layer and second partly from the connective tissue lining the anther locule. So that is, that's why it is called dual in origin. <coughs> tapetum nourishes the developing sporogenous tissue, microspore mother cells, and microspores. That means it supplies food materials to, to the developing sporogenous tissue, microspore mother cells, and microspores. Cells of the tapetum contain one nucleus or more than one nucleus, but the nucleus contain polyploidy condition. Polyploidy means when more than one set of chromosomes present in the cell that is called polyploid. In the nucleus of the tapetum, polyploid condition can be seen. Tapetum contributes sporopollenin, uh, pollen kit and trifene. Sporopollenin is the outer wall material. Pollen kit is the pollen coat. Trifene, it is the fibrous, granular, and lipidic compound, made up of lipid. Lipidic compound present on the surface of the pollen. That can be seen very clearly in the pollen grains of raffanus. <coughs> Not only that, a number of proteins which control incompatibility reactions also can be seen in the tapetum. The sporopollenin is the outer wall material of the pollen. The major component of the sporopollenin <coughs> will be the exin. Exin is the outer covering of the pollen. The outer covering is the exin. The exin consists of major component that is sporopollenin. Chemically, the sporopollenin is very stable and usually well preserved in the soil and sediments. Sporopollenin protects the pollen grain from external damages such as rain, high temperature, etc. Pollen wall material derived from the carotenoids and is resistant to the physical and biological decomposition. Pollen kit. Pollen kit is a sticky outer covering of the pollen grain produced by the anther tapetum. It is common in insect pollinated flowers. It facilitates pollen dispersal. Now we are going to see the types of tapetum. Based on the behavior, there are two types of tapetum classified. One is secretory tapetum or parietal tapetum or glandular tapetum. Second one is invasive tapetum. 
first one secretory trepidum it is <coughs> the secretory trepidum is uh, most common type of trepidum can be seen in most of the angiosperms here the cells remain in the original position and it nourishes the developing microspores <coughs> the second one is invasive tapetum or periplasmodial tapetum the tapetal cells during the course of the time rupture in the inner transitional wall and radial walls and the protoplast of all the cells of the tapetum mixed with each other and form a periplasmodium many scientists recognized there is a third type of tapetum that is called amoeboid tapetum in the amoeboid type tapetum the cells protrude into the anther cavity by amoeboid movement it is associated with uh, male sterility what are the functions of the tapetum the followings are considered as the functions of the tapetum <coughs> number 1 tapetum supplies nourishment to the developing microspores second one it contributes sporopollenin through oobis bodies which play an important role in pollen wall formation oobis bodies are contributed by tapetum and uh, the oobis bodies mainly responsible for the formation of sporopollenin so the oobis bodies play an important role in pollen wall formation oobis oobis bodies are small acellular structure of the sporopollenin they are present in the cells of the tapetum and help in the development of the pollen grains the oobis bodies is uh, made up of lipid so it is lipid in nature it appears in the cytoplasm of the tapetum during spore wall formation oobis bodies contribute pollen pollen kit material and later transferred to the pollen surface it provides uh, exin protection exin protein the oobis bodies provides exin protein responsible for rejection reaction of the stigma exin protein present in the cavities of the exin <coughs> exin protein is supplied by the oobis bodies that is present in the cavities of the exin the cavities of the exin exin is outer covering of the pollen grain in the exin uh, here and there some of the cavities are there they are called exin cavities the exin cavities is <coughs> filled with uh, exin protein supplied by oobis bodies anther cavity the anther cavity the anther wall encloses a cavity inside that is the anther cavity it is filled with microspores in young stages with my pollen grains at maturity due to the mitotic division of the microspore mother cells many microspores are produced connective it is a sterile tissue surrounded by anther lobe it contains vascular tissue it contributes in a tapetum tapetum is supplied by the connective tissue partly so that's all today's topic